Hello, Kim. Hi, Danny. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Here we are at the end of 2023, going into 2024. And I want to know, because you're so psychic. <laughs> Am I yes. going to finally win a million dollars in 2024? Um, hmm. 2025. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta wait another year. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. this is going to be on both channels. So please support um, both channels. And we're going to be doing um, predictions, I guess, thoughts on leaving 2023 and moving into 2024. Yes. So we have a couple of different questions. I, I pulled a card um, to before I got on the show so that, you know, wh where, what's the general theme of 2024? And we were talking about this, how we should re record the backstage because <laughs> it, it always seems to be the best. Right. Um, the card that I got for moving into 2024 using the galactic heritage, because I think we're going to be opened up a lot more to the galactic. You do. And, and I got this spiritual uh -huh. commitment, Vega. And, Lovely. and it, that's a future time stream. And with the with the the vegans, um, not the vegans, but the vegans, yes, they were very similar to the indigenous cultures before, before um, where oh. they walked the path to spirituality. So everything was spiritual to them. So when they walk and they saw a rock, they would be able to talk to the rock. It was just all about all about the higher order of things. Today, what we do is we think about our spirituality when we're hurt, when we want something fixed, and then we make a, a deal with God. We go, okay, if you do this for me, then I'll do this. So please fix this for me. Yeah, and that's not the way it works. It's the path that we walk. And that's what this commitment card is all about that's beautiful i love that and i was thinking that well a couple of things around that i think humans in 2024 will be i think we have to give us give ourselves credit because you and me perhaps can help inspire others to connect with the rocks and the trees and the mountains and the fish yeah. and the waters, everything. And I, I think it's more and more. I saw this, by the way, in class, this recent class that I'm teaching. We uh, One of the homework assignments was to go talk to a tree. And so uh, one of the ladies had never talked to a tree, never really, I mean, she touched a tree, but yeah. not really connected. <clears throat> she said when she touched this tree and it was outside of her house, she was so blown away by the energy, she had to back up. It was so powerful. Wow. wow. And she said part of the tree had been damaged by weather. And what she noticed, like there was some green on the bottom, green on the top, but in the middle and where she touched it. The next day, it was turning more green. The part that had died before. I mean, I'm getting chills on that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, these are our brothers and sisters, as you know. I mean, this is not a secret to you. No. But, <laughs> you, you know, but we are one unit. Everything on earth is one yeah. unit. As Mother Mary has told me over and over, it's one. The earth, the trees, the people, everything on it, the animals. Yeah. Don't forget the rocks. Don't. The rocks. The rock. Okay. The rocks. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Because, and you know, one of the things too, that I really love about this community and, and um, I mean, I think about where I came from in, in 20, well, I was thinking about my YouTube journey and what I've learned and who I've connected with and how they've helped me. I mean, you along my path of, of 
awareness in evolution in the the spiritual realm and there's so many um people in the community that that aren't in the channels but they comment yes. in videos that are so enlightened that are so powerful yes. there's this one woman she wrote a book conversations with nature where she talks to a rock she wrote a whole book with her conversation with rocks wow, wow. fascinating fascinating oh my gosh so you know and that opened my eye up because it's it's like well yeah i know i we can communicate we can get ideas she she wrote a whole book <laughs> that's amazing that's it great it is inspiring so, I love I love that um, so many of us are are putting out classes and um, giving putting out the space so that people can grow in their spiritual commitment. So, yay! So thank you for your classes. They are awesome. If nobody's ever taken one, why not? 2024 Once, might be a good year. Yeah, and same with, ag we'll agree with that too. Yeah. And, and Danny, I know you're a, a man of the ocean. Man you're, of the ocean. You're, you're a merman, you're a whale, you're a fish, you know, I, I, I'm sure you travel between the worlds in water. Absolutely. Right? I know you do. I have. Yes, absolutely. So what do you think about the waters of, for 2024? The waters of the earth, how will they be shifting? Because as I feel the waters, I feel there's a lot more communication from the water to human. Mm. They're reaching out to us. Yeah, yeah. And so what I get with that, um, I mean, I agree with you. And I feel like the the waters of the oceans are doing something to to help um, clean up our messes to a certain extent, but we, we've got to do much more. But uh -huh. they can help, uh, they can clean themselves to a certain extent. But the thing that I've been getting um, really strongly is, you know, the water's healing us, but we have to go ask for it. So, yes. you know, we have to imagine standing on the beach if we're not near the beaches um, underneath a waterfall and feeling that cleansing-ness. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's not going to happen without, without an intention and in asking about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that will take community to do that, I believe. You know, the more people that understand the working with water the better off the whole planet's going to be yeah and and what i heard is is that with community as we're healing the water we're also healing ourselves because we're 98 percent water i don't know something yes. like that. Right, so right. as we heal the waters as community that means we're yeah, healing ourselves. And as we send that good intention, that love, as we send love, which is one of the highest vibrations, right? Yeah. Love, peace, but love, especially to the waters. Then of course, right, they they get that emotion and then they that makes that water happy. But we can do the same thing with ourselves. We send the love to ourselves because we're water too. Yeah. And I feel too, one other thing about that is that I feel there's going to be more animals discovered in the ocean. And I don't know. I feel like it's important. I feel like they're deep mm -hmm. maybe the waters, yeah. maybe the Antarctic. I'm not sure, but I feel like there's some little things They're tiny little things and they, they're, they're <laughs> low or something. And I, I don't know why I feel there's something like that coming in 2024 that we're going to see more of. And I, I mean, I see not just one, but 20, I mean, the different more species right. discovered is what I feel. Right. And especially in the, in the deep, deep oceans. Um, the, one of the, one of the uh, 
things that I learned as, as a diver, just being underneath the water, is um, you can swim by so much stuff, but if you just stop, <laughs> which is what we all need to do, just stop, breathe, that's important underwater, um, stop, breathe, and just look at a rock. And then you go, oh, that rock has the little holes in it. Oh, that little hole has a critter in it. And, you know, it'll it'll slowly peek its head out, like a little blenny, um, peek its head out. And you go, oh, my gosh. You know, well, it was kind of scared of me blowing bubbles. And so once it got calm enough, or once I got calm enough, then it could come out. And I think that that is going to happen. And a lot of these switching, switching to this, um, a lot of those aquatic creatures, life forms, I believe are galactic. Oh, yeah. Galactic oh. in nature. And so as we discover more and as we go deeper into the oceans, these submersibles are going way deep, but I think they're moving too fast. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think if they just stop so that they get to see things, um, there's a, um, a submarine that you can live stream as they're exploring the waters. Oh. It is fascinating. Um, okay. th they, they discover new species of sharks and... Oh all sorts of things. And oh. so, yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think there's a galactic connection to it. I know. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. That reminds yeah. me, I think um, as the waters recede, now here's what I think for this 2024, mm. as ice melts, when mm -hmm. and, and it, that there's places, we're gonna discover more ancient uh cities or more ancient yeah. uh, galactic perhaps or very very old yeah. which i mean very very old is galactic anyway on it really i mean i don't know how to distinguish the difference <laughs> between very old and galactic <laughs> i think it's kind of the same kind of the same it, yet we're we were um you know, you look we were talking about the the goddess Isis in Egypt before we hit record and i mean you look at all the pyramids and and how they are energy transmitters so some say and yes. um I, I mean i totally believe it so it's it's yeah. like and as as we talk more and more about it in little increments then we're able to take that information go well i can buy that but i can't buy this great big i can't buy this big spaceship coming down in my backyard but as soon as we start cracking that awareness well expect the spaceship in your backyard pretty soon that's right it's yeah. going to show up and i do and that's when i think i do think 2024 or 2025 is going to be common people will just i just think it'll be that's yesterday's news Spaceships yes. in the backyard. Well, I think that's more like 2025 for me. But, yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or it's not going to be that. I mean, maybe not common, but it won't be uncommon. It won't be uncommon. And yeah. And, um, I, th I think in today in 2023, because we're still there, I think we're just starting to um, be more vocal about it. Some are very vocal about it. Others less so but it's going to be but we're no. it's, it's becoming more and more aware that yeah. we can call in our galactic guides and spaceships and you know and that was crazy for me that was crazy when i started this youtube channel yeah. i go what what somebody yeah. somebody mentioned that i had aliens around me uh -huh. <laughs> and that cracked it wide open so yes well you know here's the deal danny if we are these multi-dimensional beings which mm -hmm. is very big and we can have multiple lives at one time 
either on earth or elsewhere. Now, so of course, some of us is not going to, some of our soul is not going to be incarnated at all. We may not have a body, but our body is not going to always look human. And so if we have a body that looks alien, that body, perhaps that's living in a different dimensional reality, maybe what we might call it 5D or whatever we want to humanize it to be, but a different reality, that soul part of us is watching us. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that future of us is watching our present. Yes. Uh, even though this is all an illusion where we are, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. we're just here for the pretend. We, we think this is us. We know it's not, but we pretend it is for a little while for the lessons. But that other being of us is watching. And as I even just say that, I do see myself as looking very different. I, lo- I, I look skinny. I want, you know, I want <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> it's a good weight loss program. Become an alien. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So, so let me let me. Hmm. Do I have a toothpick? Where... <laughs> oh my gosh! You are skinny. You can't get any more skinnier. Well, yeah, you could. Um. So here, here's. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm so with you on this. I get chills with this. So as the as the collective not the not this youtube collective but as the general population how are is the general population going to look at time streams like what you were just talking about like the past the present and the future we're all looking at each other in different lives we think Oh, well, I, I think I am in the future. I'm in the future, you know, whatever, however that works. Yeah. Are we going to, how are we going to view time? And, and I don't see it changing. I see it shifting in 2024, but I really feel 26, seven is when we really get a, a handle on these time streams uh-huh. what do you what do you feel yeah i think it depends on which community you're in <laughs> you know what i mean i mean because because as a whole i think you're right but there are some now yes. that can see from a higher perspective about the time right we just have to move our awareness beyond our human body and then we can get that idea i would say I, this for me in 2023 i've been been able to do that better where yes. i get I can see, I mean, that's not going to be exactly like my soul, but as much as I can connect to my soul, I can see the different, I can see, I can actually see myself as an alien. I mean, really? So, so. Well, Kim, I've always seen you as an alien, so. <laughs> but just, just, <laughs> but, yeah. But, Take me to um, your leader. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I do, I agree with you that it, more people will be doing that. It'll be natural. It's going to be natural. And if we do go into different earths, there's going to be in one earth that doesn't probably do that. You know, if there, some people say, now, I don't know. I'm not sure what to, I do feel there's two earths and it's, it's a blending. We're kind of blended now. And if I see it, we're doing, we're kind of like a bigger earth over a little earth and then I can see sort of like it splitting. I do. It's like we're like this now. Yeah. And I see it's kind of doing this, but I don't know exactly. Again, this is probably all very per, a, a, a perception. That's a yes. perception. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. So when you said two earths, I mean, I, and I'm on board with that, although I don't understand it. I don't, yeah. I, I haven't like, like like you said i haven't like processed it so i go oh yeah i'm gonna have this i mean some people go oh yeah it's gonna be different and it's gonna rise above and we're gonna have two different awarenesses um and and that will come my understanding and my awareness as i talk about it more as i get more comfortable with two earths so my question is what do you think? Is there more than two? Can we have more than two? Can we have three? Can we have four? 
different earths or something with different awarenesses on each level. Because what I'm feeling is that, that yes, we can, um, but it's mainly, it's going to, it's, it's going to evolve into, um, as I'm feeling it right now, too. But I think that we can have stepping stone worlds. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> From a human perspective, I think there is, um, you can have more than two Earths. I, I mean, I'm feeling four, but I, I don't actually think it's, <clears throat> there's a link to the number. I don't. Okay. But I feel, though, within among and among us is the other dimensions right next to us it's not it's not uh over there up there it's here it's it's here okay so we already have so many dimensions on earth uh, around earth in the earth outside the earth on top of the earth i don't think we can put a number on it okay I mean, our human mind would want to, but yes. I, mean, I think I think even dimensions are unlimited. <clears throat> you know, you hear okay, nine dimension, twelve. I I mean, honestly, is there really a dimension? Is there really a limit? Yeah. No. Yeah, I always struggle with that. Um, you know, we're gonna go from the the you know we're in the three D world and then the. 4D, but we want to be on the 5D and we're going to kind of skip the fourth. And I'm like, I don't know what that means because it's <laughs> just the shifting of awareness. Um, and I, I haven't read or looked into it that much because it doesn't, it, it I don't care. <laughs> but the I numbers just, doesn't matter. Yeah, I just know that my awareness is shifting to a <laughs> to a higher point. And then I think of, don't forget the rocks. <laughs> and I go, well, they may be higher than, than yes. you know, being on the ground. You That's, know, right. So. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I don't think we have to um, do anything. It's natural. We're, we're, it's, it's already happening. We cannot stop whatever's happening. It's not, no. we don't need to even put our intention because it is not, we're the ones who are, becoming more light working on the light their light body becoming more connected to their soul Mm -hmm. it's natural (laughs) along with earth moving into more light and i would just want to say more light versus a number yeah 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 and and by the way when you mentioned about time time shift I, I feel like when the magnetic poles, which we could have quite a shift, I think, in 2024, I feel like actually, yes. I don't know why I want to say the fall of 24 feels September feels to me like a big shift in the poles. And that that's going to be a, like almost a jolt or something uh, to our system. And then it's going to be like catapult into more light. And more light, meaning a, 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 a vibration? Yeah, more like a vibration, vibration, sure. Yeah, aware, awareness, so that we don't have to categorize what number. It's a just we're naturally into what we might call more harmony, more love, more peace. Now, I know, of course, there's going to still be, not totally, like I can even imagine on the Middle East, right? The P, the P, I do think there's going to be more peace, but it's not, there's still leftovers, to work yeah. out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling some cards. On, <laughs> I'm pulling some cards on, on this pole shift to see what I can feel with it. And, and yeah, I do see a balance because I do see um, the two of of air, and so this is the two of swords. But it looks like. It's the two of pentacles where they're balancing things, but there's new awarenesses that are coming, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not. And when you said brighter, I got the sun card. Uh So yeah, it is, it is brighter. It is a message for the earth. And so I got two messengers. One is a messenger of earth. 
with the pole shifting, yes, wake up, people. Wake and up. then the last card I got, which goes along with what we just talked about, messenger of water. Oh, wow. wow, wow so wow. there's going to be something with the uh, And obviously, when you shift the poles, what's it going to do to the oceans, which is what our planet is it's the the blue planet the water planet what's that going to do to the oceans it we're going to get more messages and i'm really i'm really feeling um uh, strongly about how it's going to shift it's going to be a kind of like when when we were in covid land and we were going do well, number one, do I need a haircut? No, I don't. <laughs> you know, I don't need that. Do I need a new phone? Well, I am using the phones a lot because that's now my mode of communication. But I don't need a new car because I'm not going anywhere. Um, there is so much I didn't need. And it was just a reprioritization of what is useful and not useful and i think that's what's gonna oh. real yes yes and that's also what i can see feel when we have the water shift there's going to be more ex uh see exposure of whatever is underneath the water maybe this is going to be when there's more yeah uh, yeah yeah or maybe lands coming up or i don't know something like that but it's coming though. That part is coming. I don't know exactly how, if that's 2024 with the lands showing or not, but I do think we're going to be more aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think that we're going to get more aware of again, what we really need and what we don't need. Okay. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, now, I was feeling um, that there would be rain in India. Now, have you gotten anything about that? And I was thinking it was going to be major. And I get, I don't know. I, I just, I was just, that just came to me. Mm. A lot of rain that would be pretty significant. Well, mm. when you, when you say that, um, because I, I haven't thought of India really. Um, and I just did an elephant reading. <laughs> you did. So I probably should have thought of India. Um, but when you said that, I was like, yeah, I could, I can feel that. I can feel a lot of rain. And yeah. I was thinking, is that from this El Nino pattern that is supposed to be happening? Um, yeah, and and again, my my awareness of that region. So when I try to look at it, I'm I'm seeing a lot of water around there, um, and it could be um, also in Africa too. Yeah, spaces in Africa that yeah. are just I mean, Africa's huge, so it's a pretty safe bet <laughs> that they're going to get a lot of rain. But there's going to be some flooding that we're going to hear about that's going to um, mm -hmm. what do you think of the um the the weather in california okay. being as big as it is because we are supposed to be getting huge amounts of rain again because of the el nino mm -hmm. I think it's very off and on, off and on. I feel still that's dry overall. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're they're going, huge rains coming, floods, and and I'm going, I'm not getting it. I'm not sensing that that's gonna well, happen. If there's anything like that, it's short-lived. It's not enough to to moisten everything. It's still dry. I feel dry. I see cracks. I feel um, people having to um, monitor their water usage uh, and people looking at the sun. I think it's going to get hotter too in California. Hotter. Has it been getting hotter or colder there? 
Well, where I am, it doesn't change. The temperature oh. doesn't okay. change. 72 oh. every day, all yeah, year? pretty much. <laughs> no, oh. it's probably, probably in the 60s. 68 is probably the okay. average here. But yeah, oh. it, it, we, we get like a, a five degree, seven degree change. <laughs> that. Perfect. That sounds it wonderful. Is, it is. I mean, you that guys does. get that in Texas, don't you? We're not that. Yeah, we can have two uh, growing seasons for the for the um, for the garden. I mean, I still have Swiss chard in my garden, and I mean, we had a little cold weather this week. Mm. Um, Texas is so weird because you think it's going to be hot, and but it's it's got the wildest weather out there. <laughs> Crazy. You guys get all those cowboys. You get hurricanes, tornadoes, major heat, flooding. You get it. You know, people say California gets it all. You all get it all. And now you're drill baby drill with all the oil. And now you're getting earthquakes in Texas. Uh, well, in my neighborhood, it's pretty steady. <laughs> well, you have you have a bubble around you. I do have the bubble. You know what's funny, Danny? I have a you know I still have flowers in my garden and everything. My flowers are still blooming. They should have they should have gone months ago. I mean, yeah. and, <laughs> so I, anyway, that's your Let bubble. Me, <laughs> well, you know I've got a huge. I I asked for and any, anybody can do this. You can ask for like perhaps a protective butterfly the size of your yard. You know, a one large could be blue, gold, red, whatever color you want, over your yard to protect it. Yeah, like that, like an umbrella with the butterfly wings all over. Okay, so you can anybody can ask for that. It's kind of sure. nice. <laughs> I, I like the way you phrase that because I think of uh, just a bubble, uh -huh. but what Kim puts up is a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, that would be good. But as a guy, I'm going, butterfly, come on now. It's, no, it's a steel dome over the, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's... <laughs> You know, and, and so I love that idea that you can put anything as a protection and, you know, butterflies have certain qualities that maybe you, that you may want to bring in versus, you know, maybe another uh, item to put over, you know, well, a you steel do dome it. is pretty cold and hard. So maybe you'd want something different. Mm -hmm. What about large uh, hawk with a huge wings that come over and yeah. watches over too? That's yeah. another one too. You can do a hawk or a yeah. dragon. Oh, here we go. Dragon energy. And um, what about a star dome? Yeah, there you go. What star? kind of energy would that be? That's like a starship? Yeah. Ooh. A star. Well, you, yeah, you Don't can get me going. Don't okay. <laughs> oh, and, and there's a meteor shower going on um, tonight and tomorrow, I think. And for the U.S., it's um, in the uh, it, it's in the um, pre-dawn hours is when you're going to be able to see it best because it's really going to hit in daylight. So uh -huh. pre-dawn. Um, I've been seeing so many shooting stars at night, uh, at least three or four. Nice. So, and it's supposed to really like kick up to be really fast. So, well, awesome. All right. Can I ask you a question? Yes. This is a, a psychic question for 2024. <laughs> okay. Will frogs give Ooh. us additional medicine for 2024 i don't know why i just thought maybe frogs hmm. um uh okay this is a a no yes question okay no they're not going to give us additional uh -huh. medical information yeah they've already given it to us but uh -huh. it's i think it's going to be rediscovered 
they're going to start um, using it more. Okay. Okay. Does that mean we're killing more frogs? Oh, I hope not. I think it's skin. I think it's um, not, um, uh, excretions from their skin. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. I think that sounds right. I mean, I think that's very possible. I think, um, I don't know why I feel pain. And I don't know, something for diabetes. Is that even possible? I mean, maybe do some cards. In it. Is it something related to pain? And is it something related to diabetes? I don't. Maybe not diet. I'm, there's something else around diabetes. I think it's an underwater creature around diabetes now that I just oh, said that. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, well. We're so backwards in our medicines. You know, with synthetic medicines, it you know, it, they should be more, excuse me, more natural. Right. As they well, were. When we talk to our plants better, when we have that better communication, we'll be able to communicate to the plant medicine exactly what we would like. You know, it's an agreement that we make with the plants. And that does make it work better. Uh, whatever mm -hmm. they would like to be, they want to be in service as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at... Um, the frogs with pain and then with diabetes. Yeah. And so reading these intuitively, um, uh, the pain, I got the, the king of, of swords, the king of air, justice, and the hierophant. And so it feels like there is something with pain in that King of Swords, it feels like it's going to be an injection uh -huh. oh. that from, from um, and this is from the frog, and it feels like, like we already, we already have it, but it's yeah. being hidden, and uh -huh. maybe it's the drug companies that are hiding it, right. um, but it, it may come out because of the justice card. Uh-huh. So it's being balanced um, mm -hmm. and the government's going to give it the FDA. The di diabetes, um, I got the uh, Ace of Swords, the Page of Swords and uh, Fortune's Wheel. And when I look at this, you can see a little guy up there peering down at us. And so I said, it's too young for it's not yet for frogs um, and okay. diabetes medicine. Okay. That's what okay. I got with the cards anyway. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What about fish? I mean, something with fish and diet or something, mm -hmm. some sea creature, some sea creature. And I don't know. Yeah. I, I, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to throw cards on it, but I, mm -hmm. I definitely feel yes with that. Okay. And uh -huh. I, I'm hearing um, starfish and, mm -hmm uh is it this okay i was gonna say octopus and then it came to uh self self chains mm. so okay any okay. any scientist out there looking at diabetes check out self chains okay awesome and if you don't know what a self chain is that's that picture up there oh probably... anyway. barely see it okay i can kind of see that Google it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good. Okay. Good, good. Do you have okay. a question? I do. Um, okay. We're going to tap in to um, psychically. We're going to tap into, and I, I will throw some cards on this. Let's, mm -hmm. so the, the world seems to be just, oh, just a little bit crazy. Um, too many wars. Too, too much um, political fighting, too many people not loving each other. Um, th there's like leaders that are just not letting go of, of their personal power because they need another yacht or whatever. So I want to tap in psychically 
to how would Gandhi or Martin Luther King Jr. deal with this energy that we are in? Hmm. Well, you know, the wars are a way of us to learn about what it's like to be in peace as well. It's not just the war, but it, it's, it's, it is a lesson for the earth to witness so that we can see what's not right. Um, and, but yeah. the, the way to light, the, the right path is the one that has the light and the love. And it's our choice. It's a choice that we can um, bring upon ourselves. Of course, as I see Gandhi here, he's just sitting in pure light, white yeah. light. I yeah. see him cross-legged. It's almost like he's sitting yeah. cross-legged. Is that how you see him too? And he, yeah. he's, he's got all white. Um, and, he's, and he's doing his fingers like this. And it, it's all choice, but it does also help for people to talk about it. He said, it's okay to talk about it because when we talk about it, then we motivate action. Uh, and, and it does take action. And, and I do see people in the streets, in the streets, big groups, like yeah. trying yeah. to get across to the leaders. This is Now I do feel more uprising with the people, more community in the people to um, almost like not exactly overtake, but I feel like 2030, it's going to be very different. Very different. Very I see a lot less, I, I see group, I mean, I see more group grueling versus power, one person who, you know, one the one person who owns everything. I don't see that. Yeah. I feel it's very, a very shift, a big shift. Big shift. And you said group ruling, right? I, yeah. I didn't, yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear that last word. So, um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And so when I pulled this in, and I pulled on Gandhi too, um, um, I didn't get that there's a choice in the cards that didn't come up, but it definitely is a choice. We get to choose whether we want to live in fear or whether we want to live in love. And when we go into those different worlds that we were talking about before, when we choose the love world, we, we go in there. And the fear world, well, that's another part of us that we're not paying attention to anymore. We're, we're focused on the reality of the love world. I don't know. It's really clear in my head. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But no, we got to put wherever we put our attention is where yes. we live it's yes. like the two earths right you want to live in the love or the or the fear i mean right. it's kind of like that we have the choice right so but what i got from the cards is um i got a, a new beginning that the ace of wands a new um i'm sorry ace of swords uh, a new truth maybe some new action um whatever but it's um and then I also get a celebration um, moving quickly. So it's, I think it's gonna happen pretty fast. And then coming in, riding in as a winner, being connected, really being connected to the earth. So I think there's a big grounding that we um, need to pay attention to that when things get a little too up in the air, and it's a little too hot, just go back to Mother Earth and ground. But the last card, it it says it all. Um, because I think both Martin Luther King Jr., I think Gandhi, they saw the end, and the end card was the sun. Oh. The illumination, the and mm. the, the plane, the, the little um, being more childlike, but... Mm knowing in that child body what what has transpired and where we're going and that's where the choice comes in wow to, i love that 
Yeah, I got the chills when you did that sun card. Um, I, and I do feel that I feel this an agreement from Gandhi. Now, you know, it's more this is a psychic agreement here that I feel from him. He's watching over very closely, by the way. You know, that the, that personality of Gandhi, right? His yeah. soul, he's watching um, Earth closely. I got a mediumship question that okay. just popped in. So when we speak of um, the energy of Gandhi, the Christ mm. consciousness, it's just not one, is it? It's, is it, I feel like it, it's multiple energies coming together, but our brain wants us to pick one. Does that make sense to you? I'm not sure of the question. You're, you're thinking that there's multiple people that are holding that energy? Multiple energies that are in the Gandhi energy. Oh, yes, of course. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. Is it? And, you know, uh, um, and the more you have, the better. <laughs> the more powerful, right? I mean, it's just like, the, again, we go back to the community. The more oh, the community. that you come back yeah. to the community of the gandhi energy right more the more the more right yeah 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 the more work it does the more we become enlightened the more we mm -hmm. become light the more we live in our in our true self with our true self yeah S yeah cool yeah you have another question no. Are you done? I am. You have everything think... all mapped out for 2024? <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm going to see everything from light as much as possible. From Isn't now, that... right now, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so for me, as I move into this 2024, um, I mean, we're on the same path here. It's... Um, it goes back to this spiritual commitment card. And it, it's just not that I pulled a card on this, but this has been resonating with me um, for, for a while now, where is I say I want to be more on the commitment path and where I, I walk it more and more versus in the morning, I say, okay, Here's my spiritual path. Thank you. And then I, I leave that sacred space and all hell breaks loose. And I don't think about the spiritual path anymore. I'm like, you know, going, oh, I got to go do gas. I got to go do this. I got to, you know, and it's, it's like, wh where did this spiritual path go? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Danny, you know, we're still humans. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that. <laughs> We're still humans. <laughs> Lovely still, human you are. Yeah. Yeah, but still, you know that that's my goal is to is to um to try to walk that a little more consistently. Yes, and it's I, always nice. I'm going to walk it a little more consistent. There you go. And to have that in the background, at least in the background, in, in everything that you do and every in all your perceptions. It is a wonderful goal to have, Danny. I I I, I see that happening for you. <laughs> you. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna I was gonna say something disparagingly disparaging. Never I can't even say the word, so I'm not gonna say it. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. you Kim. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It's fun. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yes. yes. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, we can have yeah. a good 2024 ahead of us. Lots mm -hmm. to expect. Lots to see. Yeah. Looking forward yeah. to it. Me too. Thank you, Danny, for doing this. It's great. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.